Poetry, Chapter 1, Section 6. This is Example 3. So we've got Winona has 26 centimeters of cording. So this is what cording is. It's just cord that you use to put around pictures or to design your uh, scrapbook with. Um, which of these shapes would use most or all of the cording and enclose the largest area? So we want to look at a right triangle first. So we've got a right triangle, so draw a little right triangle. Always draw your shapes. Anytime you're given a shape, draw it first. Each leg is seven centimeters, so we've got a seven there and a seven there. So we need to know which of these shapes would use most or all of the cording. Well, to figure out which ones you're going to use the most, we need to know how much cording is going to be used. So if we make a right triangle, we need to know basically the perimeter of this right triangle. The second part is we want to find the largest area, so then we're going to find the area of this. Um, area for a triangle is one half base times height. So the base and the height are seven and seven, so this is going to be one half times seven times seven which is basically one half of 49, seven times seven is 49, and if you grab your handy dandy calculator and you take 49 and divide by two, you get 24.5. So this is going to be 24.5, and that's centimeters squared. Okay, so I've got my area. Um, the perimeter. Perimeter, we are missing the length of this side of our triangle, but in a previous section we learned Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem says a squared, so 7 squared, plus b squared, which is another 7 squared, is equal to c squared. So that's going to be 49 plus 49 is equal to our c squared. So c squared is equal to 49 plus 49 is 9 plus 9 is 18, carry the 1. 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 9 is 98. So then you need to take the square root of both sides. So I square root this side and I square root that side. So I need the square root of 98. And does my calculator have a square root on it? It does. So I need to take 98 and square root it, and I get approximately 9.89. So approximately 9.89 centimeters. That's not my answer, though. I want to know what the perimeter is. So I take 7 plus 7 plus 9.89. Um, so that's going to be 7 plus 7 plus 9.89. And that is equal to my perimeter. And so 7 plus 7 is 14. 14 plus 9 is 23. So this is 23.89 centimeters. Okay, that's the first part done. Now we're going to find the circle with radius of about 4 centimeters. So a circle with radius 4. So the circumference is the first part. That's the first thing we want to compare. So circumference is equal to 2 times pi times r. And my r in this case is 4. So this is going to be 2 times pi times 4, which is 8 times pi, which is approximately 8 times 3.14. So 8 times 3.14 is 25.14. 1, 2, and that's centimeters. Okay, so now I've got this 23 here that I'm looking at, and I'm looking at this 25 here, and we are looking for which of these shapes would use most or all of the cording, which is 26 centimeters, and then we want to have the largest area. So right now, the circle is going to use more than the um, right triangle. Let's switch and find the area of this thing. So area is equal to pi r squared, which is equal to pi 
and our radius is 4, so that's going to be times 4 squared, which is going to be 16 times pi. And 16 times pi we approximate, so that's 16 times 3.14, which is approximately 50.24. So approximately 50.24. And that's centimeters squared. So right now we have 24, and here we've got 50. So definitely B is better than A so far. We'll keep going. So we want to use a rectangle. So let me grab the rectangle. Um, area, we want the perimeter. Perimeter of a rectangle is 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. And it says the rectangle with a length of 8 centimeters. Hold on a second. Okay, and a width of 4.5 centimeters. Um, so let me grab my formula here. Perimeter is 2L plus 2W. So perimeter is equal to 2 times my length, which is 8, plus 2 times my width, which is 4.5. 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times 4.5 is 9, and so this is going to be 9 plus 16 is 25 centimeters, which is slightly smaller than my circle. And let's look at the area. Area of a rectangle is length times width, so area is going to be equal to 8 times 4.5. And sometimes it's better to write it with parentheses than the dot so you don't get confused between this dot and this decimal point. So 8 times 4.5 is going to be 8 times 4.5. Nope, it didn't take that. Clear that out of there. 8 times 4.5. There we go. That looks better. Equals 36. So that's going to be 36 um, centimeters squared. And that's also going to be smaller, so 36 centimeters squared is smaller than the 50. Um, and this 25 is slightly smaller than this 25.12. So again, B is so far the best answer. And I'm going to keep going. Um, square with side length 6. So the perimeter is equal to, since all of them are the same, it would be take 4 times the side length which perimeter would be equal to 4 times the 6. And my side, this S doesn't look much like an S. Let's try that again. And S, let's try making that kind of an S. Okay, and then, um, let's see, so 4 times 6, that would give us 24 centimeters for our perimeter. And then our area, Area is equal to side squared, because the side length and the width are the same. So the area is equal to 6 squared, which is equal to 36 centimeters squared, which is the exact same thing we had in the last one. And so the question is, um, which of these shapes would have use the most or all of the cording and enclose the largest area. Okay, well, this is 20. We want the most using the most of so 23, 25, 25, 25. So this one uses the most here and encloses the biggest area. So we have a 24, a 50, a 36, and a 36. Our answer here would be B. B uses the most of the cord and encloses the biggest area. Okay, Terry, this, uh, you could stop right now, by the way, or if you understand this, you can just, um, yeah, stop, or if you don't understand it, you can watch, and I'll do another example here for you. If you think you want to test your skills, you could push pause right now and then check your answer when I'm done here. Terry has 19 feet of tape to make an area in the classroom where the students can read. Which of these shapes has the perimeter or circumference that would use most or all of the tape? Okay, so square with side lengths 5. We want to do the perimeter 
or circumference. We don't care about area, right? Terry has 19 feet of tape to make an area in the classroom. So, but we're not actually finding the area. We just want to use all of the tape. So square with side length of five. So squares have perimeters. Perimeters for squares are four times the side length. So that is four times five. Answer would be 20, and that would be feet. Okay, circles. Circles have circumferences. Circumference is 2 pi r. So that's 2 times pi. And our radius is 3. So that would be 6 times pi. So we want to get an approximation for that answer. We'll use 3.14 for pi. So we want to take 6 times 3.14 and approximately 18.84, and that would be feet. So using most of the tape right now, right, that's what we want. Which of these would use the most um, would be the first one so far. How about a right triangle? So right triangle. Again, you might want to draw that shape. Um, right triangle with each length being 6, so this is 6 and this is 6. Uh, we want to find the perimeter, so we're going to have to use Pythagorean theorem to get this last side. So that's a squared plus b squared equals c squared to get the length of the other side. So that's 6 squared plus 6 squared is equal to c squared. So c squared would be equal to 36 plus 36. So c squared would be equal to 36 plus 36 would be 72. And then to get the c by itself, you've got to square root both sides, the opposite of squaring is square rooting. So c would be equal to, we want the square root of 72. So 72 and square root it, and approximately 8.48. would be equal to C, which is this distance right here, this 8.48, but we are not done. We want the perimeter, and so the perimeter here is equal to the 6 from the one side plus the 6 from the other side plus this 8.48 from the third side. And so 6 plus 6 is 12, 12 plus 8 is 20, and we end up with 20.48. And is there a way I can move this around so this actually fits here? There we go. So this would be 20.48 feet. So right now our right triangle is our best possible answer. And the last one here, we want a rectangle with length 8 feet and width of 3 feet. So we want to find the perimeter, and the perimeter is 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. So that's 2 times 8 plus 2 times 3, 2 times the length, 8, 2 times the width, 3, right, length of 8, width of 3. So that's 16 plus 6, and 16 plus 6, 6 plus 6 is 12 to enter the 1, and you get 22 feet. So in this case, using a rectangle of 8 feet and a width of 3 feet would be your one that would be the best because you would use weight. Um, Terry has 15, 19 feet of tape to make an area. Which of these shapes has a perimeter that would use most or all of the tape? So looks like the only one, since we only have 19 feet of tape, Make sure we read these questions carefully. The answer has to be not D because we only have 19 feet and we'd use 22 there. Our answer would have to be this number B, letter B, because it's the only one that uses less than 19 feet. So your answer would be B in this case.